How to add payment gateway in Webflow? Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add payment gateway in Webflow. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So if you don't know yet, Webflow provides design consistency and speed with team templates. Designers can build sites with real content and utilize Webflow CMS collections like some templates uh, without technical skills. That's it. Automatic site backups, some versioning and staging URLs. So sites don't need to be hosted with Webflow necessarily. So um, it's ideal for creating blogs, e-commerce stores, microsites, portfolios, and so on. And obviously corporate websites if you're interested. So I'm gonna show you here in Webflow how to sign up, how to get started. So it's free, obviously. In the future, probably you're gonna be paying for this platform. And it's, I don't know, to me, similar to Canva, you have some right and left menu. You don't know, you don't have to know a lot about code. Don't worry about that. You just can check to switch some properties, the color, the fonts, and create your e-commerce site or web page. As you can see, there, there is a great video about it. And well, by now I'm going to get started. It's free. You can sign up with Google or write your email address. By now I'm going to continue with Google with this account and you must confirm that Webflow is going into your Gmail account. Now, what best describes your role? By now I'm going to be a web designer. Who will you be building websites for? My business by now. How comfortable are you with HTML and CSS? Just go so I'm unfamiliar with that. <laughs> what do you want to build today? So a business site and finish. And basically, there are some steps that you need to do if you want by now I'm going to exit. Yes, that you need to do if you want to add the payment gateway in Webflow. So first of all, we're going to create like with one of these templates a website. So this is the this is the first one. You have some by free. I'm going to create this. This is my fictional name. And in just a few seconds, you have your template. Obviously, you can continue with these steps and so on, but we are interested in selling, right? So this is my basic one. By default, they have some products like awesomeness, directness, simplicity <laughs> that you can use in order to try this. So the second step is to create a product, but I'm gonna use these default products. Here in e-commerce, I'm going into products. There you have your products, but you're interested in creating a new product, just click on new product and begin to fill all the bars, the name, the slug, the description, the website, um, like page where you can find it. In some categories, if you need it, some media, the bill and the price, and etc. Some other features like the weight, the width, and so on. You here can also sell like digital products, so no worries. It could, I don't know, like seems like a physical product, but you're in, if you're interested in selling a digital product, there's no problem with Webflow. There they have their products, so if you want to sell, you need a product, that's it. And here in subscription, you this is important because perhaps you want to sell some subscription to, I don't know, perhaps a Discord channel or YouTube or some other subscriptions, but um, this is a beta option, so I would recommend you not, not to use this with Webflow by now because it could let you a lot of bugs in your website and that's not the idea. 
And last but not, le- I mean last but not less important, the checkout. So the, like the info about our company. So in order to do that, we must to click on the settings and click on e-commerce again. So store information required. So I'm going to continue and you must feel this again. So the business name, the country, etc. And to continue and to complete all the checkout. So they're going to be able to pay you in the future. Unfortunately, by now, Webflow doesn't count with a payment process within the software. So what you need to do is to use Zapier. Zapier is a great software that I've explained previously in one of my tutorials. So you can check some of those tutorials, but I'm going to explain to you everything. But now I'm going to be a business owner, 1 to 49, continue. You just have to select what you need. And here in the apps, they have more than 5,000 apps. That's a lot. So here, if you look for Webflow, you're going to be able to find it. This is just, you can skip this. And once you are in your Zapier, here basically Zapier links to different apps. So we're going to, or software or platforms, whatever. You're going to link Webflow with your a favorite payment procedure. So I don't know, PayPal or Payoneer or I don't know, whatever do you want to use Utopia. So here I'm going to create a new one. I've created just once between Word and Excel and Gmail, but it's the same. So I'm going to create a new SAP. And now the trigger. So in the trigger, we are going to select Webflow and the event when they have a new order I'm going okay this is just a trigger I'm going to let the permission so they are going to direct me to webflow and yes this is me authorize app and that's it now the trigger so the site the site is Sebastian Radicals that's the name of my website okay Sebastian Radicals and the test, I'm going to test a trigger. Ah, the, okay, because I have not published my website, obviously. I don't have an order yet, but I'm going to skip the test by now because I want to show you the action. Okay, so here in action, we're going to connect to our favorite payment procedure. Unfortunately, if I want to try it with PayPal, there's no way to do that. So I'm going to try with Paystack. I don't know it yet, but let's suppose it's just a, a like a procedment to pay. No worries. So when I have a new order, that's my trigger. What's going to happen? So I'm going to create, let me find. Okay, so for instance, here with Paystack, what we can do, because I don't know the platform yet, is to, I don't know, like create a refund or to send a simple invoice. So they're gonna send like a Gmail and they're going to continue the process, perhaps with PayPal, why not? But basically if you select PayPal or Payoneer, what you're gonna find here is like to create a link action in order to pay and that's it. So the person is going to get into your website to buy something like awesomeness and whatever and they are going to be redirected to a payment link, perhaps with PayPal or whatever do you want. I just found Paystack, but you can switch the app. If you delete this by now, really delete. And I'm going to create here an action with a different payment process. So this is it. This is how you can complete your payment getaway with Webflow, because remember Webflow doesn't count with this terminal inside of it. So Zapier is a great action to complete your payment process.